back to Summit Sunrise Live Summit County here on TV8 Summit. And now I am being pleasured by joining by Christina from the town of Silverthorne. How are you this morning? Good. How are you? I am pretty stoked. We've got some snow finally. We've got some more snow coming. It's actually feeling like winter. Yes, winter is here. The lights have been lit in yes. Silverthorne all um, along Highway 9 and yeah. around the town. So feeling like the holidays. Yeah, in the night times, it's felt like you just start to see all colors of lights everywhere. You're like, ah, oh, this is this is a fun time of year. Yes, <laughs> it's definitely a magical time. <laughs> yeah, and it's winter in terms of winter snow sports and winter everything, but the rec center here in Silverthorne as well, it is now their winter season. Yes, so registration for winter programs opened on Monday. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're looking to sign up for any fun activities this winter, um, which really runs, you know, around here yes. <laughs> through um, early spring, yes. um, you can now sign up. Um, there's a lot of really cool things for adults, kids. You can, you know, try a new skill, advance your techniques for different things, and just make new friends and have fun at the rec center this yeah. year. Yeah, I mean, there's a million different things that you can do at the rec center, and I love the fact that you guys have free classes. So when you sign up for your past, you get all these classes, and I mean, it, it goes from anything, right? I mean, yoga, you can do basketball, like pretty much yeah, anything, Yeah, there's right? a lot of different options included in your past membership, like yoga, um, mm -hmm. Pilates, cycling, and if you're looking to take it up a notch, um, you can sign up for winter programs like Zumba, yes. X-Train, just a little more focused and consistent yeah, trainer and everything. a little more commitment from everyone yeah. going in there instead of just like a one-off class. But if one-offs work, yoga, cycling, there's yeah. a lot of options. Yeah, and in general with us, obviously, I feel like from my personal experience that the rec center gets used in different capacities in the winter versus the summer. You know, obviously everyone's out skiing in the in the winter. Uh, it's also good to go to the rec center for all your recovery. You don't just have to work yeah. out there. You can do plenty of things there, right? There's a great sauna, a hot yes. tub. Um, if you have kids, there's a brand new turtle slide in oh, the really? kiddie pool, so okay. that's pretty fun. <laughs> you can check that out. Um, so just a lot to play and not just, that doesn't always have to be a workout. Fitness exactly. oriented, it's a great place to play in to the winter relax. too. Exactly, yeah, it's just, you don't have to be training for some crazy big thing. You don't have to push yourself. You can actually go there and just relax, right? Yeah, it's great. And the staff is nice. Everyone walks in, they greet you, they say hello. It's just a nice, fun place to be. It is, and they've got a great selection of programs this winter um, with kids programs focusing on all different sorts of stuff. So not mm -hmm. just sports. I mean, there's obviously gymnastics, basketball, volleyball for kids, but also some really cool programs like library gym and swim. So oh, okay. the kids get to go over to the library and then they get to come over to the rec center and really? play and then they get to go swimming. So really, really different stuff. Um, some cooking classes for kids if okay. they're into those cooking shows. Um, dance and theater for kids as well. So a really nice variety of different things for people to do. Hmm. That's pretty, I didn't realize you guys did those things as well. Those, I, you know, I know you do so many things, but cooking classes for kids, that's pretty awesome. It's really cool. They yeah. have a great time and they make some really cool stuff. Yeah, and then uh, even, even more so, uh, when you walk into the rec center, they also have things if you forgot you know, at home, you know, you can pick up a pair of goggles or something, or if you forgot your protein shake at home, Yeah, right? the pro shop at the rec center is, you really have to check it out, especially with the holidays coming up. If yeah. you're looking for small stocking yeah. stuffers, <laughs> there's yes. some really great stuff. Um, it's the only place you can buy Slower Thorn branded clothes. So, you know, if you're looking for a new sweatshirt for someone or a family member coming into town, get them a Slower Thorn t-shirt or, yeah. yeah, pick up the goggles, pool toys if, you're, if you've got little... Uh, nieces and nephews or whatever yeah. coming into town and you want to take them to the pool. There's tons of really cool and affordable pool, yes. uh, pool toys too. Yeah. So. I mean, the rec center is the place to be. You can get anything you want to happen. If you want to go hard, you want to go soft. And then uh, speaking about the memberships, I think some people might only think you do memberships or you might only do like a day pass. You guys also have like numbers of punch passes yes, as well, right? Yes, there's a variety, a variety of punch packs too. So that's a great thing to keep in mind if you've got family coming into town yeah. this um, winter, just at any time, those are always on sale. Um, a variety of different punch passes. They can be used by adults, kids. Um, yeah, you maybe you're traveling out here three times throughout the winter yeah. and you don't want to be committed to like this week of periods. Like you just go They're in good and have for a, class. a whole year. So okay. it's a great thing to use um, if you've got company coming into town. Sweet. Or just you don't want to commit to a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, so leave me with this. What's like the one thing, like if you're going to go to the rec center, what's your number one, like this is what I'm here for? 
You know, I really like the track. They just okay. redid it this summer, so that's really exciting. It's nice to have a place to do that and not be, you know, on a treadmill. Though if you are on a treadmill, you've got great views of Buffalo yes. <laughs> while you're yes. at the Silverthorne Recreation Center. It's nice Center. to be outside, especially in the winter with mm -hmm. all the ice and the snow, so the variable nice terrain. To, it's nice yeah. to have an indoor so place. So it's nice to, to have to. an indoor track, that and the pools. Yes, so, absolutely. You know, always fun. Nice yeah. to have a place to swim inside when it's cold and snowy in the winter. Yeah, absolutely. A place to uh, come inside and warm up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Well, thanks for stopping by this morning. Of course. Christina. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Uh, don't go anywhere, guys. We still got a little more on the show. We're going to go back over to Christy Sports in a little bit as well. Uh, so don't go anywhere, and we'll be right back.